This is a one ounce silver panda that I picked up um, in China outside of Shanghai while living there uh, 2009 and the first part of 2010. This is one of the many that I had uh, purchased there and I just wanted to communicate the fact that um, it was extremely difficult to find um, silver pandas or any type of government issued legal tender silver bullion coins in China as the 2009's were completely sold out and uh, I was just able to get the 2010's when they came fresh from the mint. Um, I went to several banks while I was in China, um, maybe close to a dozen, and I had spoke with bank um, executives and tellers about uh, purchasing silver and they had commented that the silver pandas were a coin that they always had to sell at the bank and they always had lots of silver and gold product to sell to the public but um, this year supply is so short and the demand being so high that none of the banks that I went to were able to sell me a Chinese panda and it took me quite a long time to find a gold silver dealer that did hold these coins in a large quantity and they cost me about 170 RMB which is slightly more than a silver eagle as far as a premium goes but the premiums are realized on these coins when they're resold because of the fact that there are less of them and they hold their value very well and the craftsmanship on the silver panda is among the best in the world as far as the design goes. Um, for the first time Chinese government is encouraging its citizens to purchase gold and silver bullion. That hadn't happened before and I think that this will play a huge role in what happens to the silver and gold market in the near and long term future. Um, we know that many of the large holders of silver and silver contracts are the banks such as JP Morgan. It is rumored that JP Morgan holds a massive silver short position of 200 million ounces or more. Uh, more than anything I believe that is keeping the cost of silver down and that's hitting heavy resistance here. Last time it shot up to close to 20 an ounce. There was some resistance there today. We're seeing silver up over 17 and it's moving up higher. Um, I think that uh, it'll continue to ping pong around a little bit but we're seeing definitely a, a bullish trend there. I think it will outperform gold this year and next year. It has a long way to catch up to the silver gold ratio of being right around 70. It needs to get to right around 20 to 1 which I think eventually it will and ultimately test the $50 per ounce spot price which is the all-time high for silver. Um, as far as the silver miners are concerned there are several that have publicly stated this year that they do not believe that silver production will increase. If anything it will stay the same or decrease. Meaning that there's less supply of silver out there for uh, the public to purchase. Um, one silver executive from a mining company had stated that we do not think that this year will be better than last year. We are expecting costs to go up. Although we do expect to issue dividends for uh, our stock, we do not see silver bullion production increasing. So with um, the Chinese investing their earnings in silver and gold bullion, Americans um, are purchasing silver and gold now at, a, at an all-time high. You can see that with the U.S. Mint as far as the last couple of years at certain points discontinuing the sale of silver and gold eagles because uh, demand is so high. Um, now is a great time to get into silver. I know you've probably heard that several times from the silver experts who have said that uh, this is the last time you'll be able to get silver at a low price but but I think really now here 2010 
uh, it's for real. Um, check out the links that I have. Uh, some interesting uh, links there for some information on the silver market and what the experts su suggest that it may do. Um, I think that um, once um, the issue with the shorts has become overcome, we'll see silver shine and show its true value.